welcome back to Beardy Golf. This is a non-golf episode. So obviously you're all aware we're in a third lockdown, so no golf. I'm gonna go for a COVID test this morning because we have uh, the community testing in Liverpool. So I'm just gonna chat to you on the way over there, just a bit about what I'm gonna be doing. down to Croxteth Country Park, where there's a test centre in Croxteth Hall. We're going to go and have a Covid test. They're not pleasant, but if everyone does them, we should be able to better control the spread of the virus. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk to you a little bit. Obviously, we have not been able to get out on the golf course. Just thought I'd let you know what plans I've got coming up. And also, I can show you this process of getting tested. Now, everyone who subscribes to the channels from Liverpool, so showing you this process might be a little bit informative. And it's also a little bit of a challenge for me because there's definitely a lot more people around than I'm normally used to vlogging in front of. Plenty of dog walkers in this park, so see how that goes. Oh, and if anyone's wondering, this is Nancy, she's my girlfriend. I have spoken about her on the channel before, getting quite a few funny looks for the old vlog setup, you know. I'll throw a picture up of it here now, but I've got this new windshield, which is uh, a little bit extra. It's drawing a few eyes. So we'll just get into the test centre, and there's a little bit of a queue. But to be honest, people need to realise is that a queue for testing is like a good thing. It means that people are being a little bit more responsible and getting the tests, make sure they're not spreading the virus, you know. So I'll go through the process and do the test. Do a little bit of voiceover so you can see what is actually involved. So let's get in the queue. Masks on. So basically the process is, while you're in the queue, you get given a card which has got a few barcodes on it and a QR code. The QR code takes you to a website where you can register all your details, including the barcode that's on the card. You then go and sit down and take the test. I've turned the sound off because it's not the most pleasant thing in the world. And once you're done, you hand in your swab. They do their bit and then you've just got to wait for a text to come back. So there you go, not very pleasant at all. So basically after the test, they, uh, they send you a text message. It usually takes about an hour to come through. I'm just telling you if you've got it, if you haven't got it, or if your test is inconclusive. Obviously if your test is inconclusive, we'll come back, have another one. Well, let's get back to the house. seven in the evening after we've been out for the covid test we got back we got our results which thankfully were both negative and decided after a little bit of dinner that we were going to go for a big walk obviously normally on a weekend i'd play at least one if not two rounds of golf so from an exercise standpoint i needed to do summer and a big walk with a dog was a good compromise i hope you found the documentation of the covid tests informative if you haven't had one yourself and someone's trying to explain it to you I think they can be a little bit difficult to imagine. Hopefully from the video you can appreciate just how horrible they are, but hopefully people can understand just how necessary they are. And the fact that you get your results back in such a short period of time, we got our texts in and out of, is a massive benefit. I tested positive back in October and I had to wait two days to find out that I had COVID. The suspense was worse than the symptoms that I was experiencing. Thankfully I was all all right. So back to the channel and what's gonna be going on for potentially the next month. So as I'm sat filming this, I've got a video coming out tomorrow, but to you, that'll be the video that came out last week, the three all match with my brother. I hope you enjoyed that one, and hopefully you can appreciate just how difficult it is losing to your brother. So this time next week, there's another video coming out, 
and it's the last round that I managed to play before the lockdown came in again. And it is actually a full nine hole course vlog. I got asked a few times about the nine hole course, which is attached to my home course, after I mentioned it in the home course diaries intro video. So it's a mix between a nine hole course vlog and a little bit of a course review. I've then got two videos planned for the My Game series. And when I say planned, at the moment, they are just plans. I stepped it up a notch on the planning of the first video with a script, some research and even a shot list. The video was going to be about putting and my intentions were to either film it at the practice green or on one of the greens at Allerton but obviously with golf courses closed I may have to rethink about how I'm going to go about filming it. I do have the put out mat which I reviewed in November during the second lockdown but we'll have to see how we get on. My intention for the second video which is a My Game series video about my handicap was going to be filmed over nine holes at Allerton but I'm definitely going to have to look into how I can adjust that so that I can get a video out during this lockdown. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you'd like to see that you think I'd be able to film at home. I'd be grateful for any ideas. I'd imagine, as with most people, I'm really looking forward to golf courses opening again and hopefully that's sooner rather than later. So they're short term lockdown plans. But what plans do I have, medium and long term? Firstly, I'd like to thank and shout out the hairy golfer. He's recently spoke about the round that we're gonna have in the summer on one of his rant videos, which I love by the way. And once again, as a result, I've had a little influx of subscribers. So thanks, Simon. He's gonna be coming up to Liverpool for a weekend. We're gonna be playing around at Allerton with Fat Shot Golf. I put links into the description to both of their channels. So head over to them and give them a bit of love. And the following day, I think we're looking at going to have a round at Hilston Hall, which is just north of Liverpool with a subscriber. I've just had a look at the course on the internet. And it looks really nice. We're hoping to get that in about May, June time. And hopefully we can get a bit of content over the three days for all of our channels. Between now and then, COVID permitting and assuming that we're not in a lockdown, I've got a few videos that I really want to do for the My Game series, primarily to get my game to a less embarrassing state. So assuming that we're allowed to play golf and golf courses stay open, there's a few courses that I really want to go and play and maybe even do a little review of. And assuming that we're still allowed to travel to play golf, I imagine that there'll be quite a few rounds booked in with my two brothers and a couple of other mates who don't live nearby. And then the last little plan for the year, which I'm hoping to be able to make a few videos about, it's not fully confirmed and again it'll be COVID permitting, is that I've signed up for a golf league just for a bit of friendly competition. I'll probably do another video about that when all the details are confirmed, but keep your eyes peeled. So I know it's not the most ideal situation, but hopefully we'll be able to continue making a few videos, even though we can't actually play golf. I hope you've enjoyed this video, or at least found it informative. And like I said before, get down into the comments and let me know if you've got any ideas of videos that you want to see. Please consider subscribing, it'll really help the channel grow. About 50% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.